You see the little shit going. That's a video. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian, the body snatcher, right? You know, I was just driving, and it made me think of something very, very important with his last fight with Pavekin. You know, he had two fights with Pavekin. You know, uh, Sasha Alexander Pavekin. And we know what happened the first fight. It was a high-spirited five-round slugfest. Two knockdowns for Dillian White, one knockdown for Alexander Povetkin, and the knockdown Povetkin scored was a KO, a knockout, as we do remember. And I yelled from the top of my lungs, you guys can remember all so well. I lost my voice. That's what happens when I get too crunk about the sport that I love that I hate so much. Now. Alexander Povetkin was the diamond champion, right? He was the number one for that time frame. Unfortunately, though, he caught COVID-19. And the fight had to be postponed, then postponed again, then postponed again. And it was all due to complications from COVID. Either Alexander Povetkin wasn't ready, even to the point Dillian White reconsidered, you know, fighting someone like Ortiz, which I pray to God he would have done. But, you know, this is a sport that I love that I hate so much. Again. Now, <clears throat> when they did fight, it was in uh, Gilbratter, right? Probably still didn't pronounce that right, but in Spain, okay? And it was a total mismatch. You seen Povetkin all over the place. He looked like he didn't have his legs up under him. He looked like Deontay Wilder in the second fight of uh, Fury. <laughs> After the third round, mind you. He did not look stable. He did not look like he was ready. He did not look like he was prepared for the most part from the get-go. Now, the question I have for everyone. Okay, because I'm making a poll on this as well, because I want to hear your feedback. Based on the visible symptoms and the visible appearance of Alexander Povetkin, how much credit could you really give Dillian White for the second win? Yeah, I mean, he knocked him out. I mean, he knocked the piss out of him. He did. He did things in there. He went, you know, Dillian White was mad, you know. You could tell Dillian White was punching with mean intentions. He's tenacious. You know, Dillian White's mean. You know, he likes to fight. He likes when he lands those punches. You can see him down there drool when the punches land. Right? But Povetkin didn't look right from the beginning. So at what point should you have thought and should people thought, well, hey, maybe he didn't belong in there. Maybe it just wasn't his time to fight Dillian White or maybe he shouldn't even been in there at all because if COVID had him to that degree he shouldn't have been there and it comes down to how much credit can you really give Dillian White for a win like that you know what I'm saying like how much credit could you give him because Alexander Povetkin man I mean he didn't even look like he was like even the punches he threw, he was off balance. That was not like that was without getting hit or pressured or anything. He was just kind of like, like, like a drunken, <clears throat> lush, stumbling out of a saloon or something or a bar or a pub. He didn't look right, and the noticeable signs of COVID reeked through his performance. So again, it's like. Yeah, Dillian White got his spot back, but then how much credit would you give someone that really, I don't even think he was really in shape or fit enough or able enough to do what he did the first fight? The first fight and the second fight was like night and day. If you guys noticed that. Yeah, he took punches in the first fight. I'm not saying he didn't take punches. He got dropped twice in the first fight. But the thing is, 
the way he fought in the first fight and the way he fought in the second fight, it was like night and day. It was like, it was no comparison. So again, you guys tell me how much credit should we give Dillian White after a damaged uh, COVID, ex-COVID stricken Alexander Kovetkin. Again, I'll leave a poll. You guys tell me what you think on that poll. Leave you cast your vote. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.